I'm Chanel Temple. Welcome back to my channel. And obviously you can tell who I'm with. I don't know how I convinced her, <laughs> but she's here. She's doing it. And I created this look on Sam. I wanted to do something to play up her beautiful eyes. We also used our new Vanish Liquid Foundation on her. So if you want to see how we created this look and what we have to say about everything, beauty, life, whatever, keep on watching. So let's just get into it. I did ask some people on Instagram if they had any questions for us, so we'll get into that after I get started on the foundation. Cool. First things first, tons of moisturizer. I have actually a lot of people asking me what complexion products you, um, or skincare products you really like. What skincare products? Mm -hmm. I'm always on the hunt, man. I feel like I'm always kind of changing out my skincare and trying new things. Like, are you one of those people that has like a 10 step process? Are you more simplified? Chanel, I'm one of those people that buy a 10 step process. Yeah. And I use one. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> Same. It looks so pretty in your cabinet. Yeah. You're like, yeah, these are beautiful and color coordinate, but no. So tell everyone a little bit about your journey. Ugh. Here we go. Here we go. No, 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 no. I feel like everyone on here knows, knows you, who you are, what you've done, all the things you do. I think that like sort of the negative side and the positive side of social media is that I'm sort of like growing up in front of people. Right. But I think that like for a long time that really scared me. Like I didn't like it. I didn't want people to like have to watch me make mistakes and... Well, how old were you when you started? 19. Okay, yeah. I feel like I'm just trying to enjoy that process of people getting to watch me like change and learn and grow and stuff like that. So I'm trying to just like implement things into my content that I'm finding more important, like things that matter to me, like not like over consumerism mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Cause I just feel like right now there's like such a push for you to like have absolutely everything and feel like you need everything. I would rather have my content be more technique based mm -hmm. so that people are learning something and, and able to use this product that we've been selling and selling and selling to them kind of thing. I feel like videos used to be that They way. were, they were. I feel like that's where I went to YouTube is for education or just something completely non-beauty related and just silly and the beauty industry as we know is just like so rapidly growing and it's huge and there's so much money in it like mm -hmm. it's just such a beast now in comparison to even like five years ago right when so much money comes into an industry you will naturally see that shift towards it not being about like the fun and the artistry mm -hmm. and the you know being creative it's it's it's, it's money right right and, and it's fine like I think that it's great that people are able to make a, a job out of this and stuff like I think it's the most incredible thing that's like happened in so long that people are just able to like get on camera and be themselves and make money doing it it's just about not focusing on the financial side of it so much mm -hmm. and trying to still make something that matters and that you feel good about at the end of the day basically what about you Chanel how do you get started what's your whole uh what's your whole story well, my story I actually, I, oh, I've always loved makeup, always did makeup. My mom was a model when I was a kid, so like the classic, can I watch my mom do her makeup? <laughs> and I was always fascinated. Yeah. When I turned 18, I actually worked for Chanel, which was super so awkward. Fitted. But do you know how annoying it was being like, hi, I'm Chanel. You're like, oh, that's Chanel. Chanel. <laughs> yeah. like, You're it? You're the one? But I went to school, was not really into it. School was not for me. What'd you go to school for? Communications. Okay. I thought I wanted to do PR, and in, mm. a, in a way, I, I do some of that with yeah, like yeah. the communication side of working with influencers and such. But I always wanted to do makeup, so I moved to LA six years ago. Got a job as an intern with Where Hourglass. I'm from Palm Springs originally. Okay. And then moved to San Francisco for school. Oh, cool. But yeah, so I started as an intern and just soaked up everything. Mm. I knew known about Hourglass loved the product but it was definitely still more like a niche brand yeah and then just growth the wave with the journey and the growth of this brand that's so fun though oh it's been magical yeah it's cool to like see something kind of growing and be a part of it i feel like hourglass feels small you yeah know? like it still absolutely is it's it's just like the products feel so much more curated and mm -hmm. thought out mm -hmm. and i think that that's so sort of, mean like the brand yeah it's cool it's small. yeah <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a close-knit group. Humbled. There's not yeah. a lot of us, you know? We're all doing the best we can. Yeah. Can't. Like, it just feels... I feel like everything's thought out. Yeah. You know, exactly. it's not... 
we don't pump products out for the sake of pumping something out. Yeah. Every launch really does have a concept and idea behind it. Um, maybe we could ask some of the questions I got. Sam, what's your favorite Hourglass product and why? I'm gonna choose one from each category. Oh, um, okay. I feel like, okay, okay. So, Good twist. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see how I created mm -hmm. that loophole for myself. Um, I feel like the Illum Sheer Trio is like, I feel like for me, like that's like Hourglass. Like that's like the product that kind of like really hooked me to the brand. I just think it's so beautiful. It's so well done. It's just like simple. It's easy. Dim infusion. Yeah. I, I feel like I always Such have to like give. Blush. And yeah. you don't even really like powder blushes. I don't much, like powder so. blushes, but that one I think is so perfect because a lot of the times blushes are like so intensely colored in one direction or the other, like so fuchsia, so coral, so mm -hmm. whatever. And dim infusion is something that like when you swatch it, it almost looks like nothing on your hand, but it's so perfect on your face. Like it's just so glowy and pretty and like just such a, like a simple like natural kind of like everyday blush um and then scattered light recent yeah. yeah well that was one i remember when we met i was wearing it and you kept like looking at my eyes and, I was and like, then what is that mm -hmm. you're like i don't know that one it just is like a texture you can't really get in a pressed eyeshadow mm -hmm. you know what i mean and i think that that's just so pretty to like add to like a super quick eye what are your faves our Top lip three. oil 100 percent. i always say that's the product couldn't live without just because I, I have chronic dry lips. Like they're mm. always dry. And our Vanish Stick Forever. That's like a foundation stick that just worked so well for me. I know it's very preference based with mm, people yeah, on yeah. sticks, but that worked magical for me. Like I, it looks like I have face tune in real life when I use that. And our ambient powders. Yeah. They're so subtle, but in photos and around camera, it looks beautiful. I did not understand them at all. Oh, wow, look at my skin, Chanel. Yeah, that looks pretty. Yeah. I spend the most time on that. I could literally sit and like hit the same spot like 10 times. Oh, but just like into... me with foundation, I'm literally just like, okay, great. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Move on to brows. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't normally set, you said. Okay, so I set a, a little bit. I'm not a setter. I would always rather clean up after if there's fallout than like be terrifying with a smoky eye. I feel like I do that because that's how I learned. Mm -hmm. Because we, well, when, when I was like in makeup school, they were like, it's nice to at least get like a quick base on so that your client isn't sitting there with no makeup on mm -hmm. at all kind of thing. Because sometimes like, I feel like getting your makeup done can sometimes be really nerve wracking. 100%. When I was always taught to that people are less critical of their eyeshadow if the when their done. complexion yeah, is I don't done. Because yeah, you just, probably. you feel more comfortable you already have the base, you already feel like everything else they do is just extra. Yeah, yeah. But I found when I did like a dark smoky eye, they're, well that's a little uneven, or that's this, or that's that. They're already so- Winged like, eyeliner and a clan. Ah, <laughs> we're not doing winged liner today, I'll tell <laughs> you that. Is one quarter <laughs> millimeter longer? <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Well, and then I think it's always hard telling a client what kind of shape works best for them. Yeah. Because I think everyone has this idea like you'll come in with a picture of someone who looks nothing like you. Yeah. Obviously it's your inspiration. You can bring in whoever you want for info. Yeah. Okay. We will do our best to make this happen. Yeah. Okay, so I'm using our flash sticks as a bronzer today on you. I'm trying to keep it as creamy as possible. We're gonna do our best. We will see. She was like, what do you like? I was like, creams. She was like, perfect. Yeah. She was like, <laughs> I was like, six, six, six. She was like, I like all powders. Yeah. <laughs> But it's good. It's this is gonna go. This great. is great. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Challenging me. I like it. All right, and then the flash sticks. Oh, one of my favorite questions that I got was from Sammy Jeffco, and she said, "Chanel, will you be a bridesmaid? Because Sam and I are getting married." You mean Sammy or like this? Mm. Mm. I haven't met her in person, <laughs> but I love her so much. But you're getting married. Yeah. Cool. I'm sure her husband's still. And I'm confident. And you're, <laughs> yeah, yeah. your fiance's probably sick too. That's great. Yeah. Well, how cool too, though, to be able to connect with someone like on the other side of the world. That's what is like the best thing ever about social media. It's just so crazy how connected you feel. Like the world feels so small because of social media, which is a blessing and a curse. Right, of course. But mostly a blessing. I think you have to look at the blessings because if you look at the harder side of it constantly, you get so down on it. No. We're going into 2019 with some positivity here today. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> is that the new blush? This actually is Incandescent Electra. Ooh. Yes. It's similar to 
dim infusion in the sense that it's kind of more of that peachy coral. But this has incandescent strobe light as its base, so it's a little glowy. Mm. Turn toward me. I liked this one though. This was from a girl um, more like Bella. And she said, how do you gather the courage to film in public? And I've seen you, you're really good in public. I get kind of a little nervous. Oh, do you? Like I could do this all day and I could, if I'm with someone like yesterday, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. But I see people just walking down the street talking on their phone and I'm like, whoa, bold. I don't give a dang Yeah. <laughs> about nothing. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, you know what? I used to be so shy. I really, really like, it was ridiculous. When I was in makeup school, I remember my one teacher, she like pulled me aside to be like, you gotta speak up, babe. Like she yeah. was just like, you're so shy. Like you're not- And like, were you like that always, like in childhood and everything? I don't know. Like I feel like when I was in high school, I had like my friends around me and that was like my like, sort of like security blanket in a way. Mm -hmm. So I felt like I could be so funny and so like, you know, just like, outspoken and outgoing around Right, you them. let them see the side of you no one else got to see. Well, and and then when I moved away from them, I felt like I didn't have my like little group anymore, mm -hmm. so I just felt like I just like clammed up kind of thing. The only time I'm like super quiet is if I feel like there's someone that's like competing for the spotlight a little. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Like if there's someone that's so hilarious and so like over the top and so whatever, then I'm like yeah. So guys, I'm here today at the, um, I get that though. Do yeah. you feel that ever way at like events and stuff? Oh, I, oh, I'm not like a huge fan of events. You sure you tell what's going on? <laughs> um, yeah, I think the thing with like events is that it's just, I feel like everyone's there for a reason mm -hmm. and it's not to be pals. I think events just kind of like put me out of my element, but also because I don't drink. I, I used to never think that was like a thing. Like I used to not care at all. Well, and then it puts the question of like, oh, why aren't you drinking? What do you want? Do you want yeah, to do yeah. this? Like, are you really not going to at this event? Well, and I think that I think that because everyone else is, you know, just having a good time and whatever right. kind of thing. If you're the one person that isn't, people feel judged, right? Right. Like they're just trying to get Let loose and yeah, have a good time. time. Yeah. Can we talk about how you did your makeup? Can we? and how I connected with you in such a way. I felt like I really got to know you better, one. And we are the same person. Yeah, no, concealer lips. I always wore a darker foundation than my actual skin tone. Really wanted that bronzy glow, but on my face only. I feel like I'm glad that I had like those times with my makeup because I was doing what I felt best in. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's like a good way to like learn how to do makeup because if you're trying to do what you think others want you to look like or like look right. in, I think that like you're always gonna feel like you're falling short but like we were just doing the best with what we had you know what I mean I remember my first uh, MAC lip gloss was Oyster Girl it was so frosty and so pale and I thought it was I looked perfect. It was perfect. so hot yeah Close. I thought I was the best looking person in the world with that gloss on we were to be honest thank you Chanel I agree all right so what I'm doing here we're gonna wing it. I'm gonna hope, hope it turns out nice. I'm using black eyeliner as kind of a base. Our gel is like super easy to buff out, open. So it's easy to blend out. I've done an entire smoky eye with just this before. And it looks awesome. But I like using it as a base. I'm not a huge shadow primer gal. I know a beauty blogger who doesn't use eye primer at all. This is another love of my life. Her name's Tim Talia. Yes, um, yes, no, yes, she's yes, so yes. great, dude. She has like the best, like basically like the only like relevant blog blog. Her blog was how I learned about everything. Like, yeah, me too. Makeup related, yeah. it was amazing. And I like would like just rely so heavily on her reviews. And I think people still do. Like she's really kind of like the voice of reason mm -hmm. in the beauty community, I feel. Um, yeah, and like I think it's interesting how she does reviews because she is basically just going by the claims of the brand. Mm -hmm. So it stays like very like unbiased. It's not like her opinion of like, oh, I don't like this color or I do. She's just like, does it do what the brand says it does kind of thing. Sorry, that's my watery eye. That's the watery one? How are it's we doing? Fine. It's Is it getting it's there? It's moist, you know? I think you're doing <laughs> well. I think things seem okay. Cool. Let's get another question going, folks. 
I like how you just gently segue back into that accent. <laughs> <laughs> how do you prevent streaks on your face when applying foundation with a brush? Mm, I feel like it depends on what brush you're using. I feel like if you're using a paddle brush, the way that I like to apply is just like downward strokes all over the face and then I just kind of like tap with the paddle brush over top of any streakiness. But usually like if you're using a like more of like a buffing brush that's quite dense, usually you won't get very many streaks unless the foundation that you're using is like super, super liquidy. But I feel like not many are these days. Very true. They usually have a little bit more substance in them. Your tools tools are, are like so important. They determine how everything goes. Because you can even take sometimes a crappy product, but, but with a good tool, brush, yeah, yeah, it's exactly. killer. Yeah. All right, this should be fun. I'm gonna go in your wall. Okay, okay. All over your face. This is the worst part of makeup school for me. It was fine. It was fine. And then someone was like doing my eyeliner, and I was like, oh god. How long did you do like professional makeup before just going full in with YouTube? Because you were kind of you did um, both. I did both for a little bit, but honestly, okay. I switched over to YouTube like pretty quickly. Okay. Yeah, I went to makeup school when I was 18, mm -hmm. um, and then I was like working on an off at Mac. Um, I worked for like another boutique makeup store for a while. I was doing freelance. I was doing like some little like local fashion shows and hair shows and stuff like that. <laughs> I probably did that for about maybe like three years. Mm -hmm. The thing that I'm so grateful for is I feel like I was able to get so much experience in the industry in like a short amount of time because mm -hmm. Vancouver is just like so packed with opportunity if you're looking for it because we have tons of like hair shows, fashion shows, like films, like tons mm -hmm. of stuff is filmed there. So I was really like glad to kind of have that experience before going on YouTube. What's your favorite kind of makeup to do? Like do you like beauty? Do you like call on guard? What do you like? I like beauty. I really like beauty. Mm. I actually like my favorite thing when working in stores too was I liked older like doing older women. Oh yeah. Person. One, the best conversation. Truly, the best. New Yorkers might be partial to like my favorite. Word. Like the best combo. Could chat yeah. for hours. Um, and I love making people just normal everyday people feel beautiful. Yeah. That was what gave me that like high. Do you really start brushing? I've never learned. Oh no? No, I have no oh, idea. Oh, I think you'd really enjoy it. I used to do weddings when I first started makeup, mm -hmm. but I never learned how to do hair brush. But I go to all these like trade shows and makeup shows with Hourglass and I see the, you know, temp two and all that and I get excited. I think like special effects and body paint, stuff like that like, fascinates me more than anything. I think it's oh, such an art. My old teacher that like taught me special effects in school, she is like just incredible. She was like a hell of a teacher, man. She was incredible, but it was so hard to get good marks in her class because she'd come up, like we'd be doing like cuts or whatever, wounds, and she'd come up and she'd be like, it doesn't look real. I'm like, it's not real. <laughs> like, how am I gonna make it look real? But like, she just is Talent, so talented. talented. Like, she can just do anything, well, and so that's quickly smart. too. That's another way you can go into it is teaching, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have the patience to be a teacher. I love educating oh, people really? in this sense, but I don't know if I could like. I think do... I, 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 I consider doing teaching. I think it'd be kind of fun. You'd be a fun teacher. Hey, thanks, man. Except for they always taught me in makeup school to never swear, so yeah, no. that's <laughs> I'd be not the best teacher for the school that I went to. Maybe it's hard, right? Because I is. I try not to at all. Yeah. If you hang out with me for five minutes, I suss out a room. Yeah. You know, smart. There's people that I'm like, okay, I I know I can slip in a few mm -hmm. words here and there. Ooh, look at me. It's nice. Transformative. Okay, we're gonna cut for a moment. I'm gonna do her lashes and then we'll be back. Like when the, you do those things Magic. and then boom, lashes. Final thing we need to do is a little lip. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite liner, Eden. And just kind of line her lips. Your lips are full and beautiful. I don't feel like you need to like overline or do any of that nonsense. Thanks, man. And we're gonna go in with our confession in I'll Never Stop. This is one of my faves. It's very, very similar to the liner. All right, 
Lip oil. You haven't used this one, right? No, I haven't. It's crazy. Insane. So We're gonna use it kind of as your gloss today. Cool. So I'm just gonna kind of press that in. It's really hydrating. I like it best at night, kind of as like a treatment. Mm -hmm. It feels really pretty on top of lip too, because it doesn't really disrupt any of the product or color. I'm just kind of. You're speedy. I think working in our store taught me that. Mm. We'd literally have full face and it need to be done in 30 to 40 minutes. That's how it should be. Though. Right. I feel like um, some of the smell of water is kind of, kind of taking it down. Well, I was watching um, Kevin O'Quan's uh, Larger Than Life documentary. If you haven't seen it yet. It's amazing. Oh, it'll inspire the hell out of you. Okay. You just like watch it and like the next day we were on set and I was just like, oh, how do I, up who, 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 <laughs> how can I touch, what can I do? But they were saying he would spend five hours on makeup. They'd start at seven and it maybe would be done at two or three. Oh, and then they'd Christ. start the shoot. But it was an era when like the makeup artist was the stylist. The makeup artist like ran yeah. the show and like, that is not the case today. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Yeah. I love I actually really like how the skin turned out. Good. Appreciate it. it. Makes me happy. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll make sure to put all the products I used below. Obviously, you probably already follow Sam, but I'll put all her goodies down there too. But thanks. Appreciate you and appreciate you. Yeah, appreciate you. Thanks Bye. guys. Bye.